A Texas company wanting to build our state's first high-speed passenger rail line got a major boost. A $300 million loan from a Japanese corporation. And that money will allow them to move forward with gaining permits and design work for the project linking Dallas and Houston. KXAN's Eugene Cho found out just how soon we may see the first passengers aboard this bullet train. We've all been there. Driving is unpredictable. Sitting in traffic, waiting. It should take four and a half hours to go from Dallas to Houston, but it often doesn't. Texas Central says it can cut that travel time down to 90 minutes using an eight-car bullet train that can fit about 400 people. Right now, we're looking at probably about a five-year construction window um, with multiple construction projects going on at once along those 240 miles. Five years if all goes well. Experts say it's an optimistic view. I think there are other elements that will eventually come up that have to be addressed and that might put this off. Another project at least 10 years out from coming to life is Hyperloop. It's yet one more sign that people want choice when they travel. Uh, it can potentially travel about two and a half to even four times faster than a high-speed rail. Hyperloop is a low-pressure tunnel where pods that look like this can travel at up to 700 miles per hour. Hyperloop's long-term plan includes a stop in Austin, but it is more expensive and harder to develop. The high-speed rail technology has been tested. The Hyperloop technology is um, conceptually very simple, but I think there are still quite a bit of hoops that have to be crossed. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. The $300 million loan Texas Central got is just a fraction of what they need to complete the project. They expect the Dallas-Houston route will cost about $15 billion to complete. Hyperloop One doesn't have any total cost estimates just yet. This wouldn't be the first American project to get loans from this company. In fact, they specialize in international projects. They've also loaned money to projects in California and Washington, D.C., and then in Washington State, they've put up funding to support the development of Japanese companies and businesses there. And just